Hey guys, this is Ricardo from Watch With Us, and today we have into the channel the Tutima Grand Flieger Classic Chronograph 6402-01. Before we get started on the full review, I am wearing as my review watch this Edox. I um, got it for a bargain price. I, I couldn't <laughs> I could it not buy it, so that's what I'm wearing today. But back to the watch where we actually have in for review today, we have this beautiful classic chronograph from Tutima. Now the brand is from Glashut, Germany, originated in 1927. It's a brand with a lot of interesting history. And if you really want to find out more in regards to that, that remarkable history, there's a great write-up of the RAN on Quill and Pad. It was written by Elizabeth Doerr. Definitely, when you get a chance, I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, click on that link, read up on the history of the brand. It's a really interesting history. But today we have their classic chronograph. This watch was originally released in 2018. We wanted to get it in, I know it's two years later, but we really wanted to get it into the channel because it's a brand that's not really talked about, especially in terms of the glass hoot brands. Now here we have this watch. It's a 43 millimeter wide, 16 millimeter thick chronograph. Um, the watch had the option of coming in on a bracelet, but here we have it on a strap which starts at 22 millimeters at the lugs and tapers down to 20 millimeters at the clasp. You guys can take a look. Inside we have the Tutima Calibre 320, which is based on the Valju 7750. But an interesting thing here, well actually two interesting things. One, the version we have here for the channel is actually one of the prototype early versions that were sent out to reviewers. So what you'll find out is comparing this to the version that's on sale right now, one difference you guys want to spot is the 30 minute counter here is actually in red, but on this prototype they sent it out in white. So if you guys see the picture online, you might be asking yourselves, wow, the, you're reviewing the watch, but it doesn't look like what, what's available online. And that's simply because this is a prototype. Now, one of the interesting things about this chronograph is that it is actually a German chronometer certified chronograph. Um, the certification is number DIN8319. Interesting thing about German chronometer certification is unlike cost certification, which you'll have the movements sent into cost and they're not cased, the Germans actually like to case their movements and test them while they're cased. Um, personally, I think that's the best way to go because you never know, anything can change between testing it at cost and when you actually put it into the case. So that's the interesting thing about the German chronometer certification. So here you'll have the rotor with their gold Tutima seal. Now, when the watch came in, initially I thought, you know what, this is a this is a big boy. It's kind of thick, but interesting thing is these curved lugs really help the this big watch sit on the wrist real well. So that's the, one of the first things that I realized about the watch. Another thing that I realized about the watch, and I think it really adds to the depth and just the overall look of the watch, are these beautiful black lacquered sub-dials, both at the 12 and at the 6 o'clock. It adds this nice depth, this nice look to the watch where you get the matte finish on the outsides here, and then you have this really nice black lacquered finish for these sub-dials. I think it adds a little bit more to the chronograph. It, it gives it a, a different look, and it's something that I that I appreciated a lot while I was wearing this um, during this loner period. 
I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but this of course comes with a friction bezel. It doesn't come with a click bezel, but the friction is really nice. This is really smooth and it rarely moves throughout the day. Um, watch also comes with 200 meters of water resistance. So you get this nice screw down crown, but you know what? Let me show you guys what it looks like on the wrists. Let me take this off. And guys, just for your knowledge, I actually have a seven and a half inch wrist. So the 43 isn't bad on me. Um, it actually fits in pretty well. Uh, as I said uh, earlier, I, I thought that it would be a problem. It would look a little too, too big, but I mean, it is tall, but they were able to, just with the lugs and, and just overall case design, they were able to make it so that it fits pretty good on the wrist. And of course, guys, as I said earlier, this is a, I have a seven and a half inch wrist. So, I mean, I've spent about two weeks with the watch. Really like it. Um, I think it's a beautiful chronograph. You do, of course, have that addition of the German chronometer certification, which seems to be a little bit more stringent than cost certification. Once again, I like the beautiful, beautiful um, lacquered sub dials, that fluted bezel, you know, that classic Flieger fluted bezel. And you really see the change in those sub dials and the light. Let's get this thing started. Nice, smooth. You can see it running there. We'll stop that reset. I want to show you guys how the clasp works as well. Here's the signed clasp. You drop that, that piece right here. You have the hook on the top portion. So all you have to do is fit it into one of the holes on the strap, click that close, and you're good to go. One downside I have to say about this is it's a big watch. So of course you may expect people with larger wrists to be interested in this. But the problem is for my seven and a half inch wrist for it to fit nice and snug. By the time I've closed it, there's really nothing left here for these, these keepers. I'll just slide that in and you guys kind of see there's, there's nothing left there. So I, I wish this leather strap had been a little bit longer. Um, I, I, th I think for, even if you have a smaller wrist, I, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a longer strap. You can always just slide it through the keepers. I think had they added maybe an extra inch on the strap, it would have been perfect. Another thing, well, key thing I wanna mention to you guys is of course the price on this. So as you would expect with some type of chronometer certification, the price on this is going to be higher than your normal chronograph. So price on this is about 5,100 USD. I know some people may think that's a little high, but I think when you take into account one, the history of the brand, which I highly suggest you guys read that Elizabeth Doer article that I'm going to link in the description. I mean, you take a look at the finishing on the case you have brushed all around slight polish here on the back signed crown and of course as I said the, the chronometer certification it definitely starts to make sense why it's coming in at 5100 so that's it for today, guys. Um, drop your comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the watch. Once again, that is the Tutima Grand Flieger Classic Chronograph 6402-01. Hope you guys enjoyed today's review. 
and we'll try to get some more of these reviews out to you guys. Enjoy. <laughs> 